It was one of the most publicized trials in U.S. history. Many believed that the videotape was more than enough evidence to convict the four Los Angeles police officers. But the all-white jury saw it another way. We would like to say that this experience has been an extremely difficult and stressful one. One which we have all agonized over a great deal. Almost everyone has heard about or seen the videotape beating of California motorist Rodney King. Chattanooga, Maryland Ashford was shocked by the verdict. It's just unnecessary beating. To me, it was just unnecessary. And I'm surprised they let him go. Oh, I am surprised. Chris Hunt was also surprised, but he says he trusts the jury. You know, if the jury found them not guilty, I think they more, know more than what I know. Based on what I saw, they appeared to be guilty, but apparently the jury found out something more. Charles Cox wonders why Rodney King didn't take the stand in the trial. If they had put King on the stand and he'd have told his side of it, I might have changed my mind. But I had a feeling that if he didn't take the stand to tell what he was doing and what he had done and what his record was, just being out of prison a few days, that there was something more to it than what we seen on that tape. But some folks say the acquittal makes police think they are above the law. When they do something, it seems like it's okay, you know, with the law. As long as they got on that blue uniform, it's okay. City Councilman Youssef Hakim worries that the decision will drive yet another wedge between the police and, and the black community. And if, the, if we're to move forward together as a community, as a nation, we have to do those things that bring about fairness and justice, and I do not believe this decision is one that brings us together. Kimberly Blake, News Center 12.